arrows that we're looking at are the front ones and there's where it's located right under that light just about melted on this side and the reason it's melted is probably because of the exhaust what tool right do I here. use on this? And there's the other gyro. To change the gyros, you gotta, if your subframe's welded, you gotta take your control arms off. So that's what's going on here. Use a two ah! one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Not the one that Kevin gets right here. Okay. That's why it's stick, not sticks inside. Well, that's only because the bolt was messed up, right? <laughs> We gotta drop the tummy tucker as well. The control arms that have to drop so we can get to the gyro joints. Yeah. Header wrap that we're gonna put on the uh, exhaust to keep it from melting the gyros. Complete with uh, thermal tie downs or tie wraps. And here are the gyro joints we're going to be putting in. All okay, pants goods off now. Got that done. Screws right here are one quarter inch hex. Get off where the tummy tucker attaches to the subframe. Got to get a socket on the nut that's on the other side. And then, what size is that? It's three quarter on top. Three quarter on top. What is it on bottom? Yeah, All right, so it was an eight. Can I see the nut? Yeah. It takes all the This one and like you know, all these crazy ones. Basically that's shot. an eight millimeter. Hex impact. Stop so taking nuts off the hanger here. The winter one was actually a cover that was half inch in place. And those bushings will be replaced as well. It was something well. ridiculous where. <laughs> so we're getting the uh, control arm off here. It's being a little. Ornery. Because if you want to use a swivel in the impact. So what are you spraying in there? PB blaster. Ah. To loosen it up? The best stuff since that stuff that they banned. These ones won't hold up. Mm. I can't remember what they called the stuff that they banned. What was this stuff called? It was better than WD-40. Hmm. The control line does not want to come off. Okay. Bugs? Uh, not you. Kevin just pulled the slug out because <laughs> this had gotten rusted and the ball wouldn't come out. So this used to be attached to this and this used to be attached to here without this part. Of course, this is something we welded on here to try to get this to come out of here and it wouldn't come out. So cut this off. And this is the gyro that we're trying to replace. This is what is in the bushing. And as you can see, it definitely needed changing. But now that that wouldn't come out, we had to take that out and have to replace this section 
and the new ball. Okay, this is the, the joint that the slug had to come out of, and you can see how it's been re-welded into the arm. Um, and it made it a little bit longer than the other arm, so I had to be real careful about the alignment to make sure that it was even. You can see where we put header wrap on the exhaust to keep the gyro from uh, melting again.